ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ലേൺ ഫിസിക്സ് ഇൻ ടുഡേസ് ടോപ്പിക് വി ആർ ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് വിത്ത് കൈനറ്റിക് തിയറി ഓഫ് ഗ്യാസസ് ഓക്കെ ഇൻ ലാസ്റ്റ് വീഡിയോ വി ഡി ടെൽ പ്രഷർ ഓഫ് എൻ ഐഡിയൽ ഗ്യാസ് റൈറ്റ് സോ പ്രഷർ ഓഫ് എൻ ഐഡിയൽ ഗ്യാസ് വി ഗോട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ആസ് വൺ ബൈ ത്രീ എൻ എം വി ബാർ സ്ക്വയർ ദെൻ ഹിയർ ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സ്റ്റഡി അബൌട്ട് ദ ആവറേജ് kinetic energy per molecule of a gas average kinetic energy per molecule of a gas this only today we are going to study okay so kinetic energy what is kinetic energy half m v square that is the formula for kinetic energy so if we are considering a system of gas so what will be the kinetic energy average kinetic energy average kinetic energy means velocity will be the average okay half m v square average average of all the velocity squares we will be considering for all the gas molecules okay here we know p equals 1 by 3 n m v bar square v square average right so here what is n small n is the number of molecules per unit volume number of molecules per unit volume okay here i am going to consider what is pv multiplying with v on both the sides so 1 by 3 n m v bar square into v okay so what is 1 by 3 into n into v m v bar square i am multiplying with 2 and dividing with 2 okay so n into v number of molecules per unit volume into total uh, into v so this is the th- this will be the total number of molecules okay so that is equal to 2 by 3 n v what is half m v bar square that is the average kinetic energy this this n v n v is the total number of molecules in the sample total number of molecules in the sample okay like that we got now p v equals r t this formula we know right so here we can write it as this n into v i am writing it as n into v capital v or capital n i am writing that is total number of molecules pv equals rt so here we can write it as rt equals 2 by 3 into capital n into kinetic energy okay then what will be the kind of the, now what is r r is equal to total number of molecules divided by r in terms of kb boltzmann constant we learned in the previous video so tell me what is r r is equal to kb into na okay total number of molecules per unit volume so total number of molecules in a particular gas isn't it so here we can write it as kb n into t that is equal to 2 by 3 n into ke okay avogadro number of molecules will be there then in a particular unit volume so here it is n n and n will get cancel you will get it as kinetic energy equals 3 by 2 k b t okay this is the equation to find out the kinetic energy so what is the final equation kinetic energy equals 3 by 2 kb into t clear so what is the kinetic energy of a average kinetic energy per molecule of a gas is 3 by 2 kb t okay so next we are going to study about the what is meant by degree of freedom degree of freedom means so here uh, see in generally for in a, in a literal way while we are telling the degree of freedom that means in which and all directions we can move okay so we have all the degrees of freedom so but when we are considering as a child or as a below 18 year student if i am considering you you are it's uh, your um, uh, degree of freedom will be limited 
isn't it along with parents or with the teachers or with the students or with your friends degree of freedom will be in different manners isn't it how you are behaving to your parents like that you may not be behaving to your teacher as well as to, uh, to your friends isn't it our friends parents also you will be you won't be that much close to them so degree of freedom will be different over there depending on the restrictions isn't it depending on the restrictions we know we are not in close with them so we should we are not supposed to do isn't it that and all we know so we will be if even if we like to do we won't isn't it some restrictions are there so now next we are going to study for a gas how we will be considering the degree of freedom degree of freedom degree of freedom means it is the number of independent quantities number of independent quantities independent quantities or coordinates needed to needed to represent the position or configuration of a system how many minimum number of quantities or coordinates or physical quantities required to represent the position or configuration of a system that is called a degree of freedom so if we are considering a one dimensional motion we know we need x coordinate or y coordinate or z coordinates any one coordinate is required if we are considering a two dimensional minimum how many is required yes two coordinates are required in minimum this is next so two dimensional three dimensional means all the three coordinates are required to represent the three coordinate system okay so one dimensional two dimensional three dimensional okay clear so this is called a degree of freedom okay so here we get, what are the types of um how many degree of freedom for a mono atomic gas diatomic gas and a triatomic gas okay first i am considering about the mono atomic gas so mono atomic gas suppose i am considering helium okay new uh, so helium is a mono atomic gas it's uh, existing as a mono atom isn't it so while we are considering that gas how many degree of freedom will be there it will be having 3 degrees of freedom okay 3 degree of freedom to find out the degree of freedom we have an equation degree of freedom will be equal to 3 into a is the number of mole a uh, number of atoms minus what are the restrictions 3a minus r that will be equal to number of degree of freedom 3 into number of atoms present minus restrictions okay if it has 3 degrees of freedom it will be moving in a three dimensional okay now if i am considering a diatomic gas if i am considering a diatomic gas how many uh, degrees of freedom will be there see it has 3 and 2 the atoms minus any restrictions are there see if i am considering hydrogen these two are fixed so it can't move so it has each one has 3 degrees of freedom one one hydrogen and the other hydrogen has 3 degrees of freedom so together it has 6 degrees of freedom but one restriction between these two bonding it can't come closer or it can't move away isn't it so that is the restriction so the what will be the restriction so the number of degree of freedom will be 5 over here okay then next we are considering about the triatomic molecule triatomic gas if i am considering a triatomic molecule say water okay so how we can represent water water will be see in a triangular manner isn't it we will be representing it in a triangular manner so or some molecules are there which we can represent in a single linear space listen it so so here in the case of triangular manner while we are considering how many degrees of freedom 3 into 3 listen it it has 3 see 
Three. Three restrictions are there. So how many degrees of freedom are there? Six degrees of freedom are there. Okay. If it is linear, if they are considering it as linear gas molecule. So if it is linear, how many? Three into three. Minus how many restrictions are there? Two restrictions. So what will be how many? It will be seven degrees of freedom. So de depending on the restrictions, its degree of freedom also will be uh, changing. Okay. So independent quantities, how many independent quantities are there? Depend that is called the degrees of freedom. And here for a, a monoatomic gas, a diatomic gas and triatomic gas, how we will be representing the degree of freedom. Degree of freedom can be rotated rotational, translational and vibrational. See if here if while we are considering three degrees of freedom, this includes, yes, this is, includes translational degree of freedom. Three translational degree of freedom. Here we are considering diatomic gas means three translational degrees of freedom and the rest two will be rotational degrees of freedom. Okay, so here while we are considering this one, how many in the case of non-linear molecule, how it will be here it has six degrees of freedom, right? So how it will be three translational it has, it will be having three translational and three rotational degrees of freedom it has. Okay, then while we are considering this a linear molecule, how it will be three translational degree of freedom two rotational degrees of freedom and two vibrational degrees of freedom. Okay, so clear. So these are the uh, degrees of freedom in the case of a uh, different atom that is monoatomic, diatomic and triatomic gases. Okay, clear for you. So now uh, this is a small topic which I took today. It's an uh, easy chapter but many things are there to remember. Okay, so I hope it is clear for you and if you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.